Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. And if you're new, I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and check out what videos I have coming in the future. But with that being said, let's get into, <laughs> into today's video. So for today's video, I will be doing the history of my bookshelves tag, which was created by Emma Books. And I was tagged to do it by Kat over at Rustic Pages. So this tag is kind of a long one. So if, and I also have the questions here on my computer. So if you see like a glow, I just turn, turn the brightness down. So hopefully it's not that bad. So if you see my computer, I'm just looking at the questions. And this is kind of a long tag. So if it seems like I'm really skimming over books, then that's why. <laughs> With that being said, let's get into the tag. So the first question is the oldest book on your shelf. So I, um, my family actually, I kind of come from a family of readers, so I've always grown up around books. So I don't exactly remember what technically my first book was, but I will say that Nancy Drew is what got me into reading and I'm pretty sure that this is the or some of the Nancy Drew books are like some of the first books I owned for myself because my aunt had some Nancy Drew books um, from when she was a kid and she gave them to me and I started collecting them. So yeah, and I actually think, um, I don't remember which ones I got from her and then like which ones I collected like later, but I'm pretty sure this is one that she had given me because it feels like older and it has this little like sticker on it so I think and it has like some like other wear and tear on the cover so I think this is one of the ones I may have gotten from her and it's the first one so like it makes sense that she would have this one. The next set of questions kind of goes with a book you read in like a certain year so I'm going to start with the year that I started Goodreads which was 2016 and then I'll go up to 2019 since it's 2019 currently. In 2016 is the year that I first read Throne of Glass. I was actually introduced to this author, Sarah J. Mass, um, through her other series that one of my friends was reading. And she suggested reading that series. And then through reading that series, I discovered the Throne of Glass series and I I think I binged through the first, the, the, um, the prequel novella bind up and then the first three books and then just finished the rest of the series like periodically. A book I read in 2017 was The Raven Boys. I read this whole series in like two weeks or something like that at the end of 2017 and I distinctly remember just like sitting in the bathtub and like I don't think it was this one it was one of the other books in the series that I like was just sat in the bathtub and binge probably like half of that book in the bathtub <laughs> while eating goldfish so that's really funny um but yeah the Raven Voices I read in 2017. A book I read in 2018 is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake and I also read I'm pretty sure the next two in the series that year too, and I still need to read Five Dark Fates, <sighs> but it's okay. <laughs> um, I really like this series. It actually kind of gives me a little bit of negative memories because um, after I read it, I introduced it to someone who was my friend at the time, and it's it was like one of her favorite series, and she's no longer my friend, so it kind of makes me remember that, but honestly, she was really negative. Okay, I don't need to get into all of that. And a book I read in 2019. I've read 130 books this, so far this year, so this was kind of hard to decide what I should say. But I just decided to go with my most recent one, and it's A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And I just love this cover. It's really pretty. And yeah, this was a classic I've been meaning to get to. And I had The Afterlife Life of Holly Chase, which I'm currently reading. And... I really wanted to read that one too because I had heard really great things about it, but I wanted to read the classic first because I had only seen like the movie. The next question is a book that you've read more than once and I'm going to go with probably a classic answer here, but that would be Harry Potter. And 
Um, I wanted to hold up the first one, but I actually met one of my friends has it right now. So that will come up later in this video. So watch for that. <laughs> but this is the Chamber of she Secrets, but obviously like I love Harry Potter and it's something that I feel like I'm always like I'm constantly just cycling through the Harry Potter books. Like I'm never just done with them. I'm just like constantly cycling through them. So yeah, I thought, I thought this would be a classic answer. The next question is a book that you waited more than a year to be published. And for this one, I'm gonna go with Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire Illustrated Edition because I'm pretty sure it was like two years between when the third one like yeah the third one was published and then the goblet of fire was published so yeah that's more than a year <laughs> the next question is a book that you read while you were on vacation or when you were away from home and so for this question i'm going to go with vengeful by b.e schwab in this past august i think it was august yeah it was august i actually went to the beach with my family and i read the majority of this book on that trip yeah, I actually really like this series, so brings back pleasant memories. <laughs> the next question is a book that you got from someplace special, which is anything that's not your local bookstore or an online re retailer. <laughs> so for this question, I have A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, and this is the illustrated edition, which is something I had been wanting for a long time. Um, my dad is a physician for the university that... I go to and um and I was actually able to go with him on a trip this past March so I actually got this for like eight dollars I think from a used bookstore on that trip so it's I was really excited to get it get this for one thing because I've been wanting it for a while and then also because because I got it on like used so it wasn't expensive and also, it has the fun memories attached to it, so yeah, that was super fun. So the next question is a book that made, made you cry, and I actually, oh, my butt is sore. <laughs> I actually don't really cry. I don't think I've ever cried in a book before. I'm not really much of a crier, so there's your answer. I'm sorry if that's disappointing, but yeah, I don't think I've ever cried in a book that I can remember. <laughs> Unless when I was like a really young kid that I don't remember. The next question is a book that you read in one sitting. So for this question, I have Downfall by Terry Blackstock. And Terry Blackstock is an author I used to read like all the time in middle school and high school. That's something I'll probably touch on later in this video. But yeah, I was, it was like, so probably I was like 14, I'm pretty sure. And... I was at the beach with my family and I read this book in one sitting while we were at the beach. <laughs> the next question is a book that was a gift and for this I have You Are Special by Max Lucado. Um, my family has a copy and I always really liked this book and when I graduated high school a family that we're friends with actually gave this to me as my graduation present. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was really excited to have my own copy. So the next question is a book that you read before you owned it. So like you read it from the library or borrowed it from a friend. So for this challenge, I have The Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson. And this book I read at some point when I was in high school because one of my friends really liked it and she wanted me to read it. So I borrowed it from her. And that was probably like... I want to say it was when I was like a sophomore or junior in high school and then when I was a senior in high school I really wanted to reread it so I just bought this book in the whole series and that was before I even started like really collecting books so like I should have known that now I would have like a book channel and whatever. <laughs> the next question is a book that has been damaged so for this I have City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. <laughs> and actually, this is a book that I read at another point in time when my family was at the beach, not either of the two previously mentioned beach trips. Um, but I was reading it, I'm pretty sure, like, in the hot tub. And the bottom, like, like I was reading it in... Oh, I know what happened. Um, my 
hands were a little bit wet. So when I was holding the covers, the like front bits of the covers started coming off from like the bulk of the covers like that. So yeah, oops. The next question is a book that you got on sale or that was discounted. And for this, I have Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. And this is a whole hardcover of this book. And I got it from my library book sale for a dollar or maybe two dollars. So yeah, that's a really exciting. <laughs> I, I just realized that before a book that has been damaged, I was supposed to do a book that you lent to someone. And the book I have for that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, just my paper deck paperback edition yeah it's actually my friend currently still has it so yeah i'm pretty sure he's had it at this point like <laughs> a year or something maybe not a year i think maybe he got it earlier this year like in the spring semester but yeah that's funny <laughs> anyways that was supposed to be yeah that was supposed to go before a book that has been damaged so Oops, sorry. So back to where we're supposed to be is a book that you read with someone else would like through buddy reading or like a book club. And for this I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And yeah, I recently reread this this like October, I think, with one of my friends from Twitter. So we buddy reread it kind of. It was like a loose buddy read, but I really don't buddy read and I tried to join book clubs before but I always like <laughs> can't keep up I guess so yeah oh well <laughs> sorry if I'm not like in the same position as before but I had to go get the other books because I couldn't fit them all in one place but that's okay the next question is a book you associate with a song and I don't tend to associate books with songs, but I do have one for this, and that is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. And because of the word dash, it always makes me think of Jingle Bells, where it says, like, dashing through the snow. The next question is a book you associate with food. So, for this, I was going to say, like, The Raven Boys because I associate it with goldfish, but I, since I already said it, <laughs> I have another book that I associate with goldfish, and that is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I read The Goldfish a lot while I was reading this. I think I also read a good bit of it in the bathtub, too, so that's really funny. Apparently, I like to eat goldfish and read in the bathtub, but my bathtub where I live now is pretty stained and gross, so I'm not taking a bath in it. The next question is a book that you bought years ago that you probably would not buy now. And for this I have Frost Blood by Ellie Blake. I don't know if it was like technically years ago that I bought this, but I did buy it a while ago. And I listened to the whole trilogy on audiobook and it's just kind of like mediocre for me. So I had already owned this book, but I wouldn't like buy this again if I didn't have this book or I wouldn't buy the other two like in the trilogy. The next question is a book that you s associate with a specific time in your life and for this I have Stormbreaker by Anthony Horowitz and this is the first book in the Alex Ryder series and I actually think our t my teacher in like fifth grade maybe actually like read this to us I think. Um, so I definitely associate this with that year because we also watched the movie and then I loved this book so I like in fifth and sixth grade I was like totally obsessed with this whole like series. The next question is a book you used to like but don't anymore and I don't have any like for sure that I don't like anymore because if I think I'm not gonna like anymore I'm not gonna like reread it so yeah but I think I mentioned earlier an author Terry Blackstock that I used to read like a ton and this was my favorite book by her like when I was in middle school and high school which it's called Last Light but um I've read uh, some of her more recent books like a year or two ago when I was in college and I didn't really like them as much and I just know that I'm a lot different now so I'm not sure that I would actually really like her writing or her stories anymore. 
The next question is the newest book on your bookshelf. And I actually have two because they both came in yesterday. I actually won them both from Goodreads giveaways. And they are Go With The Flow, which is a graphic novel about these like middle school girls who are getting their periods, which I thought it would be really cool. <laughs> it's funny because like the art style is this like grayscale but like red so it's like red scale of thing but i think that's really funny since it's a book about periods oh wait no they're not middle schoolers they are sophomores and they're not starting their periods their high school does not have enough tampons or pads or adults who will listen so it's about them confronting a world that shrugs or wears squirms at the thought of a menstruation revolution so it's i think it's about these high school girls trying to like fight the misogyny about periods, I guess. And the other book that came in yesterday that I wanted to um, give away is The Night Country by Melissa Albert. And this is the second book in the Hazelwood series. So yeah, and it also came with these, I think these are temporary tattoos. So they're actually really pretty. So I might actually try to use these if I can figure out how to do it. It does have instructions, but I still always manage to mess it up even if I have instructions. It also came with a bookmark, and it's just like a plain bookmark, but that's okay. So that was a lot, um, but it, I'm done now. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for sticking around if you're still here, because I know that was probably really long. But yeah, let me know... I guess let me let me know what your the oldest book on your bookshelf is because I'm really curious about that. But yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!